what's up guys and welcome to a new tutorial in this video i will share with you how to do the biased meshing i've showed it before in a previous video but it was not a very smart approach so today i'm going to share with you how to do it in a more effective way so here we have a sample file it's just like a square and projectile a quarter model but before we do that i'm going to discuss a few things the first one is the type of the elements that we have now you can see here each solid element we call it a pentahedron element and it's not very recommended it's always better to go for the hexa elements or the tetra elements and the secondly if we can see the projectile here the mesh is a bit uh, weird you can see here the element shape is not very good at this side and here the elements the element is okay so if our projectile is rigid we don't have a problem in that but if you want to make the projectile deformable then i advise or i recommend to remesh this part you might ask should i make it rigid or deformable that depends on your application or it depends on your simulation if it is a high velocity impact then the projectile is better to be modeled as a deformable okay so enough talking now let's start with the meshing so first i want to go to mesh here and then go to element generation and then create a shell by solid face and here i have this is one side and here also another side okay let me select that one again you can see i'm doing the propagation option and i click here it doesn't go down it means that this the yellow and the blue parts are not connected together create and then accept now if i go from the tree selection here i can hide everything just show number five and number six okay i need to highlight again it seems that i did not mesh everything yeah i did not mesh the lower one here so select this one and then create and then accept okay now we have this one we go to element tools and then duplicate nodes then show duplicate nodes and then merge then accept now they are fixed together all right now go to mesh and then element generation again let me show the projectile now i want to make a solid and then i want to make solid by two shell sets okay now i need to select on two shells so this is the first one then i want to select two nodes for the orientation this is one and this is two now i want to select the second node or the second shell set select this one and then again select on two nodes for the orientation now here is the bias option how many segments let's say i want to make it 10 so it will be easier for you to see the bias and here i put 0 0.1 and then create let me look from the right view not the right view the front view and you can see here is the bias here is too small and here is big and it gradually changes the size 10 segments meaning we we'll have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 0 0.1 what does it mean 0 0.1 it means that here will be 0 0.1 of this length so let me accept and measure it for you because you don't believe me element tools then measure then from here to here you can see is 0 0.4545 from here to here is 4.5.5 so this one is 0 0.1 of this other end when we selected the shell set i selected this one first and then i select the other one so if i put like that and i put 0 0.1 then the finer mesh will be on the side of the shell that i selected first let's say this part number eight i'm not very happy with it so i just close this one and let us do that again but increase the number of elements so everything's okay but i need to reselect the shell sets so this is one this is two the nodes for the orientation are already selected so don't need to change that now i make it 50 instead of 10 create accept and now you can see here it's better okay 
now I want to hide these guys as you can see now the gradual mesh or the bias mesh is only in one direction so how to make it in two direction I just repeat the steps that I did from the beginning so I go to shell again then by solid face I click this guy create accept and again click on this guy create and then accept now I hide number nine and then I go to solid again to two shell sets click on this guy first this one and then this node here and this node here now set number two this one click on this one already clicked node number one is this node number two is this one and then create and then accept now if i look from the top view and i hide the projectile and you can see here this is big size of elements and this is a very small okay now let's say if you want to make it 3d then you follow the same steps again i will show it to you click on this one create accept click on the lower one create accept and now i hide everything except these two guys i go to solid solid by two shell sets and then here the first node set click on two nodes for the orientation this one and two the second node set click on this guy and click on two nodes that belongs to that shell one and two okay now the number of segments i will just put it 10 because the depth is not as much as the length here then create then accept and now you can see here in the z direction also we have some bias so as you can see this is available only with the solid elements but what if you want to have a shell that has bias meshing so you need to make the solid first and then from there go to shell elements like what i will show you here so i have the solid here this is my target is the solid mesh let's say my target i want it to be shell instead so i click here shell by solid face and then propagate and then create accept so i hide number 15 now i have this shell which has the bias mesh okay so i have this solid and then i have this shell and if i want to make it a full model of course i can just go to element tools and then transform and then reflect this guy reflect by part reflect normal to x click on here and then copy elements create then again uh, normal to y and then reflect now you can see from the top view how you have the bias mesh maybe the 0.1 bias is too much here but you get the idea how to make it you just need to play with the values so that you get uh, the mesh that you desire okay now we go back to the projectile here as i said this projectile is not good if i want to make it deformable because here we have this element the aspect ratio is not good so i need to mesh it again so i go to mesh solid solid sphere i need to know the length first so i need to measure that one so measure from here to here the radius is 4 mm or 4 meter whatever your units are this is 4 here is 20 the center here i don't know so i just go to create position node create on this node and then it's already there 4.1 okay let's say my circle doesn't have any node at the center if that's the case i can go to average center i need to click on two nodes only so average of centers click by node the top one and then the bottom one and then compute now you can see it's 4.1 similar to the case when we select by node then after compute done now we have 4.1 here so create accept okay why i'm making this sphere first because i want to replace the old sphere which is not good secondly because i want to show you how to use the biased mesh when you have a sphere object so i hide this projectile i will focus on this one now first i go to uh, element generation and then by i want to make solid and then solid by face offset and then click on this one let's say i put 10 one segment is fine and here i have my guy and then i can click on accept okay so i have a big sphere here and then a small sphere inside then i do the same thing again 
here I go to shell shell by solid face click on this one create and then open the big guy create accept okay now we have 19 is the small one and 20 is the big one so I will go to solid and then solid by two shell sets I want to click on the first shell which is the one inside so I hide this guy then I click here and click on two nodes for the orientation one and two then the second node set or the second shell hide this one show the big one click and then select two nodes for the orientation one and two and then I have the bias here let's say 10 maybe it won't be very nice but the point is just to show how to do the bias mesh when you have a sphere like this so now that is done click on f8 and then area i want to hide okay now you can see the bias mesh that we just made here is very small or here is small and here is big and again if i measure this one it will be tenth of this guy yes you can see here is 1.8 and here is 0 0.81818 okay so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching and see you next time